I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Cancer, for the week of May the 16th. Now, the, we still have all those placements or a lot of placements in your solar 11th house. Very good for connections, great for socializing, getting out there, meeting people. Um, also terrific for getting involved in community work or charitable work as, as well. And certainly as Venus is in this area, well, uh, you know, you just never know um, who you can meet once you, you know, get out and about and start socializing. And, you know, it doesn't have to be um, personal socializing. It can be business socializing as well. Um, now, the sun is going to move out of this area into the sign before yours. So, uh, means we're getting closer to your birthday. Start making plans. And so, the sun in this area of your um, <clears throat> chart is going to be opposite the moon. So, we have a full moon this week. You're ruled by the moon, of course, and is also opposite Mars. So this can cause a little bit of friction because let's not forget Mars is either assertive or aggressive. There's a fine lines. There's two sides to everything. Uh, so with the energy and the intense energy of the full moon, um, you want to be careful that you don't overreact on anything, particularly this is your your day-to-day uh, -day schedule, particularly over the weekend. Things may not end up as you planned, okay? So um, be flexible and exercise a little more uh, tolerance because, you know, when your plans are mixed up and get altered, and sure, it can be a little annoying or irritating at the time, but, you know, you just never know what's going to come of it. So it could be, you know, divine intervention, putting you on the path to meet someone wonderful. This is also a time where you need to look after your health and well-being. And so, which means, you know, don't listen to your body. Uh, you're highly intuitive with cancer. So, you know, your body will tell you what it needs, whether it needs sleep or you're eating or drinking something that's not agreeing with it. It'll tell you, you know, if you're not masking it with... Um, you know, food or medications too much, it'll, you'll be able to hear the messages, pay attention, okay? Also a great time to have a look at your personal presentation as well. If you want to have a beauty overhaul, then this is a great time to do that. Now at the end of the week, on the weekend as well, Mercury comes out of retrograde. Uh, so and it's in that area of uh, friendships that we're talking about at the start of the reading. So, you know, be careful if you, you know, got a, an old situation that you want to discuss with someone, perhaps not the best time to do it towards the end of this week and over the weekend. If you need to get something settled off your chest, try to do it at the start of the week, first couple of days, or wait until about mid next week, okay? Of course, uh, you know, life doesn't always line up like that. So, uh, you know, if you do need to go ahead and have a sensitive discussion with someone, then, you know, think through what you want to achieve, how you're going to approach it and try to, you know, take a leaf out of Libra's book and be diplomatic. All right, love and luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.